Hi guys, happy Thursday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So if you're new here, don't forget to take just a second to hit that red subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my new videos. So we are about to go into Walgreens and guess what day it is? It is the beauty event. So I'm super, super excited to go in here and get some really good deals. So I've got my paper coupon, got my digital coupon, hopefully some some of you guys have both even if you only have one you can still get some good deals so we're gonna go in here we're gonna take a look at some scenarios of course I have a printable list with all the scenarios that I showed you guys the other day I have a couple of other ideas that I'm gonna go with when I go in here see how those work out so I'll definitely be showing you guys that um, we are also going to announce those giveaway winners so I went ahead and did um, the random comment picker this morning to pick those three winners so i have to look back on my phone to remember <laughs> i'm really bad at remembering that like but i got them all laid out so we're going to talk about that as soon as we get out of the store put it up on the screen here so that way you guys can see it all that good stuff so let's go ahead in here and shop the beauty event and then we are going to go over those receipts once we get all done Okay guys, so one easy item to pick up for the beauty event is the Neutrogena bar. So you can use this $3 manufacturer paper coupon from coupons.com or your digital coupon for $3 off, making these just 49 cents. So this is one that I was waiting to see how it's gonna work and everything before showing you guys, but these Bondi Sands um, application mitt for self tanner, it's $6 and we have a $5 manufactured digital coupon making it just $1. So it's perfect to add to one of your scenarios to lower your out of pocket. They also have more on this end cap. So if you don't see it in your store, definitely look around and grab that if you have that digital coupon. So I'm going to have to change up my scenarios here, some in the store, because as you can see, the Shea Moisture Hair Smoothies are out of stock, but if your store has them, they're buy one, get one 50% off. We have this $5 manufacturer coupon. You can use the paper coupon or the digital coupon. You're going to pay a final cost of just 98 cents for those two. So this is perfect to add into most scenarios. So if you can find this Lubriderm, um, lotion it's a six ounce for 3.79 in your store we have a two dollar digital coupon for this item so i'm probably going to add it into my transaction since i can't get the shea moisture so next the all may products there's lots of different ones these eyeliners they are only 5.59 each we have three dollar manufacturer coupons these coupons are from the 816 smart source so if you use two of these that is going to take six dollars off of your total take your total from 11.18 to 5.18 but you're getting a five dollar register reward when you buy two so that makes your final cost for two of these just 18 cents so a super good one to add so this is going to be my first transaction. Of course, the first coupon you wanna hand over after they scan your items is this 7,000 point booster that you can find in most stores. So you'll have them scan this one after they scan all your items and then hand over all your manufacturer coupons. So these two items have digitals. This one has a digital or you can add a paper coupon for this one if you don't have the digital. And then of course the All May, those are from the 816 Smart Source. You're gonna use two of those. So I did add a Wet n Wild brush to get me over the $25 mark, but this should come out free and a money maker. I'll go over my receipt with you guys once I get done to let you know how this transaction went and if those digitals applied and all of that. So I decided to pick up some Nivea lotion because my store has the $6.99 ones in stock. So they're buy one, get one 50% off. We have these $3 off coupons. I believe these were in the $8.22 retail me not, I think. I'm gonna have to look. I'll put it on the um, printable list. But anyway, so we're gonna use two of those $3 coupons. So a total of $20.96 with four of these lotions being buy one, get one 50% off. So we need at least five more dollars added to this total to get us to that $25 mark to use our beauty coupons. Now on this transaction, 
I am going to add in these Thermacare patches. These are not part of beauty, but I'm going to try to build up this transaction to use some points on it. So I got these two $3 coupons that came in this week's um, Retail Me Not, I believe it was, um, or Smart Source. I'll, I'll put it on the, <laughs> on the printable list. But anyways, these are $7.79. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two of them and use two of these $3 coupons in order to build up my transaction where I can spend over $25 in manufacturer coupons in order to use points on this scenario. So this is what this scenario looks like. I've got four of the Nivea lotion, two of these Thermacare patches. I've got the two All May wipes and one of the Wet n Wild brushes. So I've got the Thermacare paper coupons. I've got my paper coupons for All May. Um, I've got my coupons for the Nivea. And then I'm going to use some register rewards on this transaction. That's why I got that makeup brush. So all of these uh, paper coupons, manufacturer coupons, all of this, my total is like $41.97 before any coupons. But after all of my coupons, I'm hoping to get this down to about $14.91. I'm going to use 10,000 points and only pay $4.91 out of my own pocket. So remember, you have to buy $25 worth of beauty products, but as long as you are spending over $25 in manufacturer coupons, even if they are for other items, they will count towards that spend amount. So I'm going to hand them this coupon after they scan all of my items, and then I'm going to hand over my other paper coupons on this transaction. Okay, so next we're looking at the Old Spice body wash. So we've got a digital um, buy one, get one free coupon for this. So it's gonna take off like $5.49. So we're gonna grab two of these. And then um, we are gonna go ahead and get those. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh my God, you guys, it spilled on me and got this all of my shirt. Okay, guys, so I am going to try again to get this. Um, Axel is thinking it's hilarious that it spilled all over me, but we're picking up two of these. We have a buy one, get one free coupon. I have to change up my scenario some because I can't get the Shea Moisture. So I will show you guys what I pick up. So the next item I'm picking up is the All May Eyeshadow. They're $6.29. We have that $3 paper coupon off of one eye product, making them just $3.29. I'm going to grab one of these, and then I'm going to get one of the Revlon products and also use a $3 off coupon. And I'm going to combine this with the Old Spice deal. And just ignore my messy cart because I'm trying to go through and change up my scenarios. So the next item we're picking up is one of the um, Revlon eyeshadows. They're three or seven ninety nine, but they're on sale for five fifty nine, I believe. So we're gonna use a three dollar off coupon on this one as well, and we're gonna go ahead and pair it up with the body wash. So on this transaction, I have the two body wash, I have the All May eyeshadow, the Revlon eyeshadow, and I'm also going to grab this um, Neutrogena soap because I am going to use my other $3 coupon. I have one paper, one digital. So all of this should be about $27.37, and then I am going to use those manufacturer coupons. Should come out around $12.88, get back 7,000 points for the paper booster, 7,000 for the digital booster, and then get back the $5 register reward for that All May and Revlon product. So this one should be about a $6 moneymaker. So I am going to go ahead up there with my cart full of stuff. This is only three transactions. I'm going to go back and use some more, but this is a multi-use coupon, so you can use it on each transaction you do. So let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll grab a couple of other deals. Okay, guys, so you know in my scenario video that I posted the other day, I suggested getting two of these for $8.49, then picking up the one that's $10.79. So they're buy one, get one 50% off, and using a $8 digital and a $6 digital. Then that way you'd only need one more dollar to get you to the total you need. But because my store is out of the ones for $10.79, I'm going to have to change up the scenario. But definitely look on the printable list if you want to pick up just these items. But I'm going to go ahead and grab these and add a couple of other things to it. It, but we do have an eight off two digital for the Avino and a six dollar off of one. So those are great um, coupons if you have them. Okay, guys, so on a separate deal from the Avino, I'm trying to use a couple of my Shea Moisture coupons because of the fact that mine, my store didn't have the hair smoothies. I'm going to try to get these soaps and see how that works. 
So on this transaction, I decided that I am going to get a couple more Almay and Revlon products. And I'm also going to use two of these $5 coupons on Shea Moisture soaps that are buy one, get one 50% off. And I'm going to use a couple of my register rewards. So I'll show you the receipts for this one and the Avino in just a second. Okay guys, so we are back in the car. I haven't got a chance to look completely over my receipts yet, but I did several transactions and I'm pretty sure they went really well. Um, they seem to go well. Most of my coupons worked, all of that. So we're gonna go over those receipts here in just a second, but I do wanna announce those giveaway winners really quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and look at everything I got, look at um, the receipts so you can see everything all laid out. So. On the screen here, I'm gonna pop up the winners, but also I'm gonna go ahead and say that I wrote them down so that way I would have them in front of me. So the winner for the $50 MasterCard, this winner is Kelsey Shepman. I may be saying your name wrong, I'm so sorry, but Kelsey Shepman, you won the $50 MasterCard. So make sure to email me so I can get that shipped out to you as soon as possible. Now, the second winner was for the $10, $10 Walgreens gift card. So this one was Gloria Magana. I hope I'm saying that right. So Gloria, you won the $10 Walgreens gift card. And then the Amazon $10 gift card, that one I don't have to hand, like hold and show you guys because it's a virtual gift card. So the winner of the Amazon $10 gift card is Robin Alston. So thank you all so much for entering. I will do another giveaway hopefully soon. Um, but I appreciate you guys so much. Um, 11,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so, so much. And the winners, make sure to email me at least within three business days. Um, and if I don't hear from them, then I will choose a different winner. So thank you guys so, so much. And let's go ahead and look at those receipts. Okay guys, so I am back home and this is my beauty event haul. Oh, thank you, baby. This is my beauty event haul for um, this week. So we have the beauty event the 20th through the 22nd. So Thursday through Saturday, you can pick up these deals. So I've got everything laid out here with my different receipts. So I'm gonna go over it with you guys. Um, thankfully, I did get the paper booster at my store. And then also, um, I had a really nice cashier. She is one of the cashiers that's there a lot when I check out and she's super nice. So if anything goes wrong, um, she's very helpful and all of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first transaction. As you guys can tell from the scenarios that I had put out for you guys, I did pick up some different items. Um, a little different than some of my scenarios because my store was out of some products and I had to switch it up a lot in the store. Plus there was a couple of things that I had planned on doing that I wanted to wait and make sure that they worked before I mentioned it to you guys. So my very first transaction, I had planned to get these Bondi Sands. It's a um, Australian tan reusable self tan application mitt. So it's $6 and it is um, a $5 digital coupon on the app. So if you have that, it works out really nicely on this deal. Now, I will say uh, one thing that went different in this deal than I thought it would is my Neutrogena bar rang up for half price instead of regular price, so it wouldn't take my paper coupon for that. But let's go ahead and look over this receipt. So on this first transaction, I got the Lubriderm lotion for $3.79. The um, Acne Bar, it rang up for $1.74 because apparently since the lotion is buy one, get one 50% off, um, it is in the same promotion as the Neutrogena buy one, get one 50% off. So it took off the Lubriderm and then it took um, the second one as the 50% off item. So anyways, we got all of this. Um, mm-hmm. So you can see on my receipt here, um, because that item rang up for half off, I had another item in my cart that I was planning on maybe doing on another transaction, but I just kind of threw it in there at the last minute because my total was at like 23 and I needed to be over that $25 mark in order for the beauty deal to work. So I just threw in um, this Shea Moisture Af African Black Soap. I was gonna get that on a separate one and use my coupon, but sometimes when you're there at the register already and it's the last minute, you've gotta grab something really quick. So my suggestion, if you're picking up these two items together and it's gonna be buy one, get one 50% off, I would go ahead um, 
and pick up a couple more of those wet and wild products or something there that is going to get you um to the total without going over it so anyways my total ended up being 27.59 for all of these items so I use the two um, all May coupons for $3 off, that $5 digital for the Bondi Sands, and the $2 digital for the Lubriderm Lotion. So my total was $14.59 on this. So $14.59 for these products. But then um, I did get back, I got back um, a $5 register reward for the two all May and then 14,000 points total, uh, 7,000 for the digital booster, 7,000 for the paper booster. So after getting back the points and the register rewards, this transaction, okay, so on this transaction, these are the rewards that I got back. I got back bonus points of 16,470 plus the 270 everyday points. So what that was is 14,000 points, 7,000 for the paper booster, 7,000 for the digital booster, plus 2,000 points for that 10 times the points booster, plus I got back $5 in register rewards for the All May products. Now let me just say my store, the uh, register reward machine was not working on any of their three registers. So because of that, um, the manager did end up giving me points at the end for my different transactions. So um, on this transaction, like I said, I had a total of $14.59 out of pocket, but then um, I got back $16 um, in points and the $5 in register rewards, which they gave me points instead. So this transaction here was a $6.84 moneymaker for me. If that $3 coupon for the Neutrogena had come off, it would have been a $9 money maker. So a little less than what I expected, but still a good transaction. Now, this next one, I'm gonna move that. Okay, so this next transaction that I did, I did this one not only to have a low out of pocket, but also to show you guys how you can pay with points on a spin deal, even during the beauty event. So with this, like I've told you guys before, as long as you are spending at least $25 for that spend amount you need for the beauty event, if you're spending at least $25 in manufacturer coupons and uh, cash out of pocket, then you can pay points for the remainder of your balance. So let's take a look at this receipt here. So on this one, I picked up the Nivea that were $6.99, buy one, get one 50% off. I picked up the Thermacare heat wraps. Those are not part of beauty, but I just put those in here to build up my total because I had some paper coupons for those. So I also got um, the Wet n Wild makeup brush for 89 cents for one of my um, register rewards to attach to. And then I got two of the All May. So you can see here, she scanned my point booster there um, for the 7,000 points, and I had the 7,000 digital already loaded to my account. I used two of those $3 Thermacare coupons, two of the $3 off for the uh, Nivea lotion, the $3 off of the All May wipes, and then all these coupons down here at the bottom, um, $12 worth are actually register rewards that I earned from other products. So the reason I was able to use all of those is because, okay, I had a $3, a $3, so those coupons are attaching to those products. I had these two Nivea, and I had a $3 off two. So the coupon attaches to one of them, so one of my register rewards could attach to one of those. Then I had the two here, one of my uh, register rewards could attach to one of those. I got this, so one register reward could attach to it, and then I had these for a $3 off two coupon, so one of my register rewards attached to one of those. So if you have like a three off two or something like that, um, it will attach to one of the products, so if you have register rewards, it can attach to the other item. So my total here was $14.91. So on this transaction, my total before any coupons at all was $41.91. So as you can see here, I used a total of $27 in manufacturer coupons. Now, because I used $27 in manufacturer coupons, my total was $14.91, but because I've already met that $25 spend amount, 
I went ahead and used 10,000 points on this transaction. So I only had to pay $4.91 out of my own pocket for this transaction here. And I'm gonna show you guys right down here on the points. As you can see here, redeem this visit, 10,000. Bonus points I got, 26,790, the 300 everyday points. So I got back 27,000 points on this plus the $5 register reward for these, which they gave me points since it wasn't um, <laughs> working right. So anyways, with this one, I would have, let's see here, I would have a $17.09 money maker on my hands, not including the fact that I used 10,000 points, but if you're only including that I use manufacturer coupons and register rewards, this was a $17 money maker. Now, if you are looking at it like, okay, well, she used $12 in register rewards, then this would be a $5.09 money maker if you count in those register rewards. But I'm not counting those because they're coupons that I earned already and I used on something that I wanted to get. So this one was a great money maker for me. So if you have those same coupons, this is definitely a good way to use a little bit of points and still get a lot back. The points I got back for this, I got back 5,000 points for the Nivea. I got back 14,000 points for the two boosters. Um, again, $5 register reward for these items. I believe I got back the 2,000 points for the 10 times the points um, booster, maybe. I'll have to look. And I did get my 5,000 points for beauty. So that is what I got on that transaction. And then we're going to look at the next. Okay, guys. So my next transaction I did was on the Old Spice. That Old Spice, I was picking it up off the shelf and it literally opened up and squirted out on my shirt. I was like, what the heck? Are you serious? So, um, yeah. So that was fun. Axel thought it was hilarious. Um, so, and it's blue. So I was like, what the heck? Okay, so this one, uh, we're gonna go over the receipt on this one, but I got the two Old Spice, got an All May um, eyeshadow, a Revlon eyeshadow, um, and the Neutrogena bar on this one. So that's what I got on this one. These go with the next transaction. So all of this totaled me $27.37 before any coupons. So you can see on here, those were two for $12. We got that uh, for $5.59, $6.29, then the Neutrogena soap for $3.49. So I used a $3 coupon for the Almay, $3 for Revlon, the $5.49, that was the buy one get one free coupon that's a digital for the Old Spice, it came off. And then also my $3 paper, oh, I'm sorry, uh, e-coupon for the Neutrogena. My total was $12.88 after coupons on this one. So $12.88 and I got back 14,000 points, 7,000 for my paper booster, 7,000 for my digital booster, and then that $5 register reward for the Allmate and the Revlon. So total on this one, um, I got back, let's see, 14,000 points and a $5 register reward. So this one ended up being a $6.12 money maker for me. Let me go ahead and show you my receipt on this one as well. So you can see here, my points there, so many I got back, and then she later added me 5,000 points since their register reward machine wasn't working. So I got that. So that was a pretty easy one. Um, and then on my next one, I picked up the Aveeno. I had to switch it up some in the store because they did not have the Aveeno for $10.79 that I planned on getting because I was gonna get one for $10.79 and then the two for $8.79 or however much it was. Anyway, so I had to put in something that I had a coupon for, so I did the All Mate Wipes. So on this one, you can see here the Aveeno, buy one get one 50% off, then the other one down here for regular price. I got a couple of candy bars on here because Axel wanted one and one was to do a donation, so I'm not including those in my total. So over here, I used a $3 coupon on the All May. That was the one paper coupon I used. Then the Aveeno had that $8 off two coupon and $6 off of uh, one coupon. And those are digital coupons for the Aveeno products. So if you have those, those are really good ones to use. Those are high value coupons. So this one was, let's see here, $29.60 before any coupons. So after those coupons, like I said, my total is a little more because a couple of candy bars, but my total was actually $12.60. 
Now on this transaction, I got back, of course, the $5 register reward for the Alme, and then I got back 22,000 points. So I'm gonna show you guys this. So you can see the 21,790 um, and then the 300. So that put me at 22 and I got my 5,000 for the uh, beauty. So on this transaction, this ended up being a $14.40 money maker. So I was really, really happy with this transaction. Um, those points on this one, let's see here. Um, think I'm pretty sure um, I got back 7,000 for the paper booster 7,000 for the digital booster um, and 5,000 points for hitting beauty and 2,000 points for the 10 times the points digital booster so all of that is where that 22,000 points came from and then we are gonna look at the last transaction so this one was kind of a spur of the moment because let me just tell you guys it was super weird so how I told you guys the register rewards were not printing on any of their registers well she switched registers to try to see if it would work but she said that they um, put in a ticket for somebody to come fix their machine and all this so anyways when I did th this transaction it printed the five dollar register reward not right after my transaction, but like a few minutes after when she had done somebody else's transaction and they didn't buy anything beauty. So we knew it was my register reward because it said Revlon. Um, so she gives me that one and she's like, okay, well, we'll try to do your next transaction on that one and see if it works. So we tried this one on it and then it didn't print that time. So then she was like, well, just hang around for about 10 minutes and we'll see because that's about how long it took before the other one printed the last time. So then I was like, okay, but of course when I'm walking around, I do another like spur of the moment transaction, but this one worked out really well. So I was fine with it. So anyways, this one over here, I just wanted to use some of my $5 Shea Moisture coupons because with them not having um, the curl enhancing smoothies, I had to get something else to try to use some of my $5 coupons that I have. So I went ahead and picked up four of these Shea Moisture bars. They, well, one of them was $5.99. Um, so the second one was $2.89, then $5.79, $2.89. So then I also got um, the All May um, eyeliner for $5.59 and the Revlon um, eyeshadow primer. So I've got me some eyeshadow primer I'm gonna try um, for $6.29. So I had them scan my coupon for the 7,000 points. Of course, I used a $3, um, manufacturer coupon for all May, $3 for all May, um, two of the $5 off of any Shea Moisture products. And then the two $5 there at the bottom were two $5 register rewards. So my total on this one after all those coupons was only $3 and 44 cents. So if you're looking at it, as in, okay, well, take off the two register rewards I used, your total would have been $13.44. So with a total of $13.44, I got back, I would get back a $5 register reward, which it didn't print, so they gave me points. And then I would get back my 14,000 points um, for the two boosters. Now look at my points here. You can see I got back a total of 21,000 points and then they gave me the $5, you know, for the register reward. So one of those was 5,000 for beauty, 14,000 was the two um, boosters, and then 2,000 of that, I believe, was that 10 times the points booster. So anyways, if you're not counting the register rewards that I spent and you got back that same amount, this would be a $12.50 moneymaker. If you are not counting that I use register rewards, like, you know, I used them, I had them, they're like coupons for me, then this would have ended up being a $22.50 money maker, or 56 cent money maker for me. So all of these transactions today were money makers. So I'm super happy with all the transactions. At the end of the day, I think, I can't remember for sure because she had to, add points for me a few times you can see here like she added points a couple of times so I think I ended the day with 208,000 points I'm 
pretty sure. And I started off the day with 91,000 points. So this is everything and all the points I got back. So as always guys, let me know in the comments below if you are gonna do any of these deals. I will add these to the printable list along with the deals that I already have on the printable list. So it gives you guys some options of what you wanna do. Lots of different options, some digital coupons, some paper coupons all of that. So let me know what you guys are doing. Make sure if you're the winner of those gift cards that you send me an email. My email is in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.